We are back with some college football action here in week four. We kick things off on Thursday night with a few games here. So um, got one pick I want to take a look at here for Thursday's card. So let's jump right into it. West Virginia travels to Blacksburg to take on Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech comes into this game as the 74th overall team in the hot tip at power rankings. West Virginia is the 57th overall team. And, you know, for West Virginia, certainly did not get off to the start that they wanted this season. End up losing their opener against Pitt. And what a game that they played fairly well at times. Um, ultimately end up losing there. Lose to Kansas in overtime. They are able to get the win over Towson last week. But overall, a disappointing start to the season for this wake forest team we look over to virginia tech they opened the season with a loss to old dominion which was not a great showing from them there but followed it up with wins over boston college and wofford and honestly both these teams are in about the same position at the moment grant wells leads the way for virginia tech at quarterback with 651 yards and four touchdowns um, but you know overall this offense in virginia tech doesn't do a great job moving the football only 364 yards per game um, caleb smith at wide receiver has been the top guy at that position group with 130 yards but really him and wells gotta find each other more and overall they just need to do a better job passing um as a team if they really want to get things going for this bot tech offense but looking over to west virginia i mean jt daniels really has played better than i expected coming into the season i was impressed against pitt um in that game i saw a little bit of the kansas game as well he was not by no means a bad quarterback in that one um i didn't watch the Towson game last week so i don't i don't know how he actually looked in their lone win this season but one area that this west virginia team is really relied on heavily here in the first few weeks is the running back position donaldson and mathis have both been a great rushing duo donaldson has rushed for 274 yards mathis 234 yards and a large part of that i think is because of that veteran o-line up front but it was an o-line last season that was like last in the big 12 when it come to giving up sacks and they didn't look great in week one gave up three sacks but have only given up one um, since then so it looks like they've got things a little bit turned around and they can certainly move the ball and this west virginia team can certainly put up some points and defensively they've had some struggles i mean we look back at those first two games gave up 38 points to west virginia gave up 55 points to kansas granted this virginia tech offense probably isn't going to move fast enough to, to put up that many points against them um but the Virginia Tech defense, you know, could give them a little bit of trouble, has only allowed 201 yards. Um, but really what I think this game comes down to, if the Virginia Tech offense is able to get things going even a little bit, the West Virginia defense really isn't going to give them much trouble at all. Um, and the West Virginia offense we know can run the ball. I think they'll be able to get through these Virginia Tech deceivers. Um, and really I think both offenses are able to get the ball moving, get downfield, and ultimately get some points on the board. I think both these teams really is going to be a very telling game for how their you know seasons could go from here on out haven't had great starts to the season for either one of these teams and while i would lean west virginia in this game on the road i'm just a little bit nervous to back them right now i'm taking the over 50 and a half points here for west virginia virginia tech now to wrap it up for college football here on Thursday night. But if you want to see more sports betting action for everything going on this week, head over to hottipbets.com and take a look at the computer model picks up on the website. Got college football and the NFL picks being posted every single day. We got games as well as horse racing and MLB picks posted up on the website daily. Um, and of course, you got the UFC cards dropping most Saturdays. Don't have fights this weekend, um, but check that out next weekend. Also, follow the Hot Tip Bets main account at Hot Tip Bets on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. To stay up to date with all the computer model stuff. Stuff that's being posted over there follow my personal account at how to best chris on instagram tiktok and twitter to stay up to date with all the content that i'm making and posting um, and make sure you're following on best stamps so you can get early access to all the picks and get a notification every single time that i place a bet and last but definitely not least if you're watching here on youtube hit that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future content and most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on here for college football thursday and thanks for watching today's show. I will see you guys tomorrow.